my god, okay, so I just recorded for like 20, 25 minutes until I remembered something clicked and something told me that my audio wasn't working and lo and behold I was recording and no sound was being pitched in. But anyway, welcome to my very poor dollar store pho mukbang while I tell you how the Canadian government screwed me over. Mm. And also other stuff. But okay. So I'm gonna try to get through this fast because I really rambled the last time I was recording. Ah, uh, there I go again. Um, and I tweeted this. I tweeted at my prime minister and I tweeted at news stations because I thought it was just so fucking unfair. So, first of all, after one year during the coronavirus outbreak, after the coronavirus outbreak, my government finally decides to do hotel quarantines, mandatory hotel quarantines for anybody flying in internationally. Which, first of all, that was their first mistake. It was a year late. And second of all, it only applied to air travelers. I thought you guys were fun. I thought it was like a mouse. Just let me fucking tell you. I had to deal with a dead mouse today. Anyway. We'll get to that later. So, first of all, and then second of all, you had to pay out of pocket. So you had to pay up to $2,000 for up to three nights at a designated government hotel out of your own pocket. First of all, my family and I, we traveled for essential, compassionate reasons, okay? It was for a relative who got horribly sick and unfortunately later passed away. That was my reason of travel. That was essential. I did not go on fucking vacation like a lot of these motherfuckers did. I tried my best. We tried we tried our best to enjoy our time there. But the entire time, I was hoping we didn't have to go. I was hoping that we would get a call and be like, yo, no, I'm totally fine. Everything's Gucci. Um, I will see you when this virus is over and we can all hang out again. I was hoping for that. That was me being stupidly, so stupid, naively. What was the word? Hopeful. But we had to travel. And thank God we did. I'm so grateful. I am so grateful and I think very lucky that until I was 24, I never had to experience this horrible level, this horrible hole of emotion, like of grievance, of sadness, anger. I I don't know what else, but it's just like this kind of weird weight of when you lose a loved one. And I'm so sorry to anyone who has had to feel that way, who's had to feel this not only unjustly, but also at a very young age. Because I, I, like, I hate it. I wish it wasn't something that anyone had to feel. But I, I do consider myself lucky that I didn't have to experience this until, you know, I was more mature, so to speak. You know? And I'm very glad I, I was able to be there for them. Um, but I was also there for an unnecessary amount of time. And I'm so grateful that both of my works um, are like, we're understanding and be like, yeah, you ha you'll have a job when you come back. Like, thank fuck 
fucking god. Because EI is also screwing me over, and I'm hoping Ontario Works comes in clutch. EI, what's up is a little bitch. Because, right, um, the government hotels, and I heard all these horror stories of, like, people not getting fed, people being fed inadequately, like, they weren't fed for, like, 23 hours, no water, a bunch of people in close quarters, in small rooms and stuff like that, like, that was just, I just think that was the opposite of being helpful, like, I get what you're trying to do, but do it more organized. And you're still a little late, so you should be extra, you should already be deorganized. Because I don't have a heart, because like, here's my biggest problem, is that you were exempt from the hotel quarantine if, um, if you were coming into Canada for compassionate reasons, so the same reasons I left Canada. So if you were coming into Canada for those reasons, being a foreigner or whoever, you were exempt from the hotel quarantine. But as Canadians who left before any of this was even mentioned back in the end of January and who left Canada for those reasons, why the fuck aren't I exempt? You know, that was just super fucking unfair. How dare you? I tweeted. I tweeted this. I tweeted this, and I made a GoFundMe to bring more attention to it, and because I needed the help, because I was trying, because the government wouldn't even loan me the money, because it specifically says this out uh, this loan cannot financial loan cannot be used towards self isolation or quarantine. So it's like, bitch, what the fuck? What? Excuse me, what? No. No. What? It was I'm mm. rude and unfair. You know? I couldn't, I, just, I still can't believe it. Still can't believe it. Because me and my family, we waited until there was like, because I was like, it can't, it can't be that long. I saw that the CS, CCF lawyers were fighting it, that there were people fighting it, because it is unjust. Especially, you know, for people in my case who left for essential reasons. Not unlike the people who left for fucking vacation. Fuck you guys. Still cannot believe there are people out there vacationing right now. I tried, we tried our best to enjoy ourselves, you know, despite the pandemic and despite what was going on, but... Mm. About to see things and experience things that not only I am grateful for, but also, and that would not have happened if I wasn't there, but also a lot of things that I didn't need to see, that I didn't need to experience, and a lot of things I didn't need to feel or hear. Tension. The energy was horrible between me and my family, and I never want to be have to experience that again. And I don't wish that on anyone. And I'm sorry to anyone who has had experienced that or is experiencing that. But also, I have no backbone because I get super emotional and always feel attacked anytime someone says anything about me or to me about myself. Um, could have been avoided and would have been able to grieve a lot sooner in a healthier in a healthy way if it was if I could have just been home sooner I'm fucking real still mad mm-hmm yeah oh Rose I tweeted at my prime minister and news stations and nothing. 
honestly, super uncool, you know? Um, yeah, and how, like, they're, resor they're putting resources into, like, apparently officers will come, like, knocking against everyone's doors, checking, checking in and everything. But I'm like, to all the people who are coming into Canada, that means people not essential and essential travel. All of those people who live everywhere. Um, why are you putting money into that when you could be putting more money into, I don't know, the vaccine? Or, I don't know, make other rules that involve people wearing masks and taking care of themselves and literally staying at home and shutting down literal non-essential stuff and keeping the essential stuff open. Like, Doug Ford is stupid. Doug, like, as someone who doesn't know anything about politics, and I mentioned this before, that I want to take, like, a politics 101 class or something, because I don't know shit, and this has made me learn that it's, like, I mean, I knew that I needed to know, educate myself on this before, but, like, mm -mm. no, man, not cool. Um, just so stupid, just so stupid. Staying at home isn't that hard, you know? Stay home. Oh, and I have to do my fucking taxes. I don't have the money for that. The other thing, I left with like $200 in January, okay? I didn't get any money because I didn't get like everything, all of my papers for my employment insurance family caregiving benefits until like right before I left because like my applications didn't work a couple of times. I put in the wrong SIN number, like, you know, it, it was partly my fault, but, like, at the same time, like, bruh, be faster. Um. It's just really weird. So I applied again. Nothing. Yeah. So right now I have literally no money. Hopefully Ontario works, comes in clutch because I have a lien coming up and my landlord's like kind of mean about not giving me the room upstairs. And I have been here the longest and you can charge all the other rooms with however price you want. Like stupid. So mean. Oh, and also, right? So I was gone for so long. Government's fault. Because then I was only re and recently that I found out that you can just tell them, I don't have the funds for the hotel, please let me, you know, that they would give you the hotel for free. Because before we still, we didn't have the money, we don't have that kind of money. Um, they wouldn't lend me the money. They wouldn't loan me the money because I couldn't use it towards like self isolation or quarantine or anything, right? So you're not gonna give me money for that to do the hotels. You're not. You're not. So if I am in your my situation where I don't have any money, I want to go back to Canada. I'm a Canadian resident. I don't have money, but you're not gonna loan me money for the same reason that I want to comply to your rules, so I don't get fined or do anything wrong. But then also, you know, this, like, non-refundable, like, hotel stuff. Like, you're not giving me the money, and then I come back. See, here's the thing. I come back after three months, because it was only recently that I found out. Come back after three months to see that the mess in my room, because my room was messy before, right? Because I still, I had, that was the beginning of my leg injury and everything. So I wasn't able to clean up as much as I would wanted to. And I had boxes of food out and they were all out in my hallway and I asked one of my roommates to literally just put everything inside my room 
because my landlord was coming to take pictures of the house. And I was like, please let me come home and change it so you can sell the room on the bottom, not the one on top. I want it to be upstairs. Um. What? Um. Oh, right. Gone for three months. So because it was gone for three months, I had to ask my roommate to do that because I could, I, I, you know, I thought I was going to be back in February, but they canceled their tickets. So I asked her to do that and there were boxes of food and I come home to mice, right? Come home to mice. The audacity to just blatantly run above my pillows. I was scared. I was, ah! I was so scared. It was gross. I was so scared. I actually, I actually killed one today. Oh my God. Thank God I did not sleep here last night. I can't sleep here because I know there's more, but I put a mouse chop of peanut butter in my closet and I, and I didn't see anyone, anything in the ones outstairs, outside my room. So I thought, okay, you know what? I hear them in here. They're probably in the closet. Lo and behold, there was one today. I had had so much death. My relative... In the last three months, my relative, okay, my hamster, Padme, passed away. My betta fish, Pykel, has passed away. And now I'm killing mice. And I was so freaking out. Um, I had two plastic bags. I wrapped it, put it in the garbage, and I hate myself because I could have, like, gave it as an offering to the gods outside in my yard, you know? Like, such a dumbass. So stupid. Mm. But anyway, and my landlord's blaming me for the mice, even though there was mice before I moved in. And it's just not his responsibility. And he's like, if you leave food out, it's like, well, I was gone for three months. What do you expect me to do, man? Like, I'm fucking trying here. You try harder. Please, do, just do what you gotta do. Just be a nice fucking man. Stupid. Stupid. Stupid government. <gasps> oh my god. That scared me. That scared me. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And I've been cleaning ever since. I've been cleaning here. I've been cleaning and like every time I turn around or leave, like I just see a new little like mouse poop on my bed somewhere. Like out of nowhere. It's like, what the, from where? And I had to put tape. I put masking tape on any of those little holes that might be actual holes that they may be falling from. I don't know. Anyway. Yeah, I come home, 4 a.m., start moving my shit upstairs, which was unnecessary in hindsight, because my landlord hates me, even though I've been here two years. Um, I've been good, like, fuck you. Um, rude. Um. Yeah, I come home four a.m. It's been shit still ever since. I'm glad I'm finally home. But um, yeah, shitty situation because in my situation, I have no money. I need to feed myself during my mandatory fourteen day quarantine, and they won't give me money. Because I flew in internationally. And it's like, bro, what the fuck? What? Like, you know, what if you're someone in my situation and I need it? But no, I'm not even eligible for it, you know? So I have to apply that on to your works. And fingers crossed. Comes in clutch, you know? Like, please. Please, please. Um... Yeah. 
Um, <clears throat> it's pretty shit. And now I'm finally home, and I thought I would cry more than I have, but I haven't let myself because I've been so stressed about the right mice. And I know there's more. I know there's more, and I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Mmm. Mmm. Love it. Fuck. Love this shit. I missed, I really, I played Witcher. I was playing Witcher and Age of Calamity a lot. That really helped. I haven't finished either. But that really helped. And I couldn't help but thinking about, like, oh, Cyberpunk. Before I, oh, I could play more Cyberpunk. Ah. Anyway, such is life. So hopefully shit figures out. And then after my quarantine, I'm able to get my Serb. Get my sir an actual serve soon. Pay my family members back. Also have rent. Um and you know, invest in some stuff and also save money. Start doing that. And then I'd be able to go back to work finally. When I tell y'all that I was dreaming of fucking work, that's how long I had been away. Okay? That's how long I had to put my personal life my own life on pause. Is that I was dreaming of work. I was dreaming of being back at work. And I work in retail, man. Two jobs in retail. And I'm a student. Like, I was dreaming of it. I was dreaming of it. Mm. I'm fucking real. Oh, and I was so horny. Oh my god. Can you imagine being me and not being able to do anything for three whole months? I literally cried about it. Let me tell you. I literally cried about it. And I had just bought two things before I left and I couldn't even use them. Couldn't even use them. Uh, Obi-Wan. I didn't even know Obi-Wan. Ah, <sighs> mm. Solar. Yeah, fucking suck. Oh, and I found one vibrator and one charger, and I washed the tip of it. You know, I took off the silicone tip, washed it just in case. Because I don't know where the mice have been, you know, because everything was everywhere. My room was a mess. I don't know where they had been because I saw poop everywhere, everywhere, like on that little shelf, my window ledge, my window sill. They were on my desk, on my altar, everywhere on the floor, on my mattress too. Thank God I had a mattress cover. Which is too big for my washer. I just tape that out. It definitely doesn't fit in my dryer. Mm. That's why I know no one will ever hear this, but shout out to my friends. To Kerrigan, to Olive, and to Zareen for having helped me in so many ways. Cheer me up and like literally also food-wise and everything. Because I can't afford anything. Thank you, government. Um... Cause I don't, I don't know, man. I'd probably still, I'd probably be losing more weight. Oh yeah, that's another good thing. That's one of more positive. That's a positive. Is that I lost twenty five pounds while I was there. I don't know if you can see it in my face still, but like yet, but yeah. Um, yeah, life sucks. Life sucks. I want to unalive, unalive myself so fucking hard, bros. Past three months, a little bit before, obviously, not as bad as these last three, four months. Partly because of things I had no control over. One of those being 
fucking government fucking me over. Fucking people, in, like, in my situation over the way they are. I'm cool! And I... Did I already mention I tweeted directly at Justin yet? Yeah. Mm. I'm cool, bro. And at news stations. I got ignored. Which is fair. If we're being honest. Um... Yeah, so there's rat shit everywhere. Right now, there's like puddles of wetness in my shower slash bathroom slash laundry room. I don't know why. It's creeping me out. Um, yeah. There's so much more I wish I could talk about and so much more I will talk about. I was hoping so much to be able to paint, but now all my paints are somewhere tucked away because I have to clean things individually because I just took everything, everything just put in boxes because I also had to take pictures for my fucking landlord. Stupid. Ugh! This whole thing is stupid. Oh, but one good thing, one nice thing is I have a nice big TV now. I never had one myself. It's super heavy and it sucks though. The guy who was helping to give tours, he helped me. Thanks. Thanks, dude. Ty I think his name was Tyler. I don't know. Um, this is going to be my gaming TV. And then my old monitor is going to be my um, Netflix slash YouTube music TV. learned a lot about myself spiritually I I dealt with a lot of I we're gonna be honest a lot of abuse a lot of toxicity and I dealt with that um, I don't know where that book is the handbook here this one this book helped me so much with my feelings and how I need help. I want to reach out who, what I want to do, what I, how I want to do. Like, you know, and I can't wait to implement more of it in my life. I actually, I meditated so much. I meditated for like 72 days. I think that was my streak. Um, Sorry, I just saw something. Um, I had like a 72 day streak of my meditation and then I broke it. The 24 slash 48 hours of coming back. Oh, sucks, man. Now I'm trying to redo it. This is day one. Um, Okay, no, sorry. I thought I thought I thought it was something else. Ugh, I was not prepared for it. Um anyway. Yeah, so stupid. So I'm literally left in the dust. If it wasn't for like good friends and like yeah, my situation could be worse, but like honestly, I'd be I don't know. I don't know. I'm fucking real, honestly. Um scared super scared um I'm gonna sleep on the couch until I feel it's safe enough to actually be here um, but yeah oh yeah I don't know where I put the tip for that I washed it Cause I was like, ooh, I'm going to use this tonight. And I remember I placed it somewhere carefully. And now I can't find it. So, as that one meme says, I had to use my fingers like a cavewoman. You know? Ugh. 
it's just not the same. It's just, it's just not the same. Anyway, um, I think I spoke mostly, most, I think I spoke about what I wanted to, to speak about mostly. Um, I'm very sad. Very sad. I'm super fucking depressed, man. Damn. The unalive being myself feeling is very, very unfortunately real and big. <sighs> Excuse me. Oh my god, I'm so tired too. I just had coffee. I don't have sugar, so I just used some table syrup that my friend left. Yeah. Now I have coffee. So now I can stay up and like work hard because I have so much shit to get rid of. I'm gonna Marie I'm Marie condoing my life. That's what I need to do during this quarantine. I need to Marie condo my life. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna Marie condo my life and I'm gonna try to make sense so much. And I don't have to look like this anymore. I hate it. I hate it. Ugh. Go away, please. Go away. Um gross anyway yeah oh it was in my last one but see this is how long I've been away and how much trauma I feel you see that opaque that like kind of translucent okay so I got my nails done like end of December right so I got my nails done and they were like up to here you know they were like you know I got my nails done and that's where the nail fell off right where it was like I was there enough time that I let the nails stay. Well, also they were biogel and I have no idea how to take those off. Um, as long as it could until it finally came off. So that was like over, a, that was a month until like all of, over a month until all of them actually came off. And I decided to keep this one because even after all that falling off, that's how long I had to stay. So I was in this horrible situation for an extra necessary amount of time. It could have been so much shorter. It could have been so much shorter. My life, financially, my life would not be like this right now. I've heard too many things. Oh my god, I, holy shit, I withstood so much fucking, still so upset about it, but like, honestly, kind of not really. Because I feel like now that's all gone. It's all like one huge big traumatic thing, you know? Like, no, goodbye. Just like living with my mom. Cheers to that. Oops. I meant a side to me. Ooh, I can go. Oh my god, you guys want kimchi? I'm gonna go have kimchi. Oh, fuck yeah. I was hoping to have kimchi with you guys, but then mostly the pho, so that, but that's okay. Um. So I ripped off most of my makeup. Go menace. Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, I can't wait to be back at work. Did I already mention that I was dreaming of work? Imagine that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um really need to invest in myself, you know. Literally invest in myself. Invest in myself. And also just save, you know. Cause like this is the thing money is power you know I don't know if I said that already but money is power and I'm very fucking powerless man very fucking powerless I can't believe they wouldn't even loan me the money to comply by their own rules like really stupid and what I need the money man Ugh, my rent I'd like to have some food. I'd like to pay people back. Jesus fucking Christ. Stupid. So mad. Thank God my my jobs are nice and they were like, oh no, it's okay. They, they were understanding. They were understanding. And they were like, you, you have a job for when you come back. I'm like, oh, thank God. Oh, I need some muscle. Um. Oh yeah, so far in all of my 2020, I have experienced, I have seen, seen four, four experience, okay, my relative, 
uh, my hamster Padme died, my fish Pykel died, and today there was the dead mouse in my closet. Ugh, that I could have, that I forgot to wait to like sacrifice it or like, you know, to like put it out for Odin or the gods. Instead, I just threw it in the garbage. Anyway, I'm tired. I'm actually super tired. Um, I'm gonna have some cake. Instacart is great, man. I wish this shit was sponsored because Instacart, you have, you got it. You got, you got my, you got my attention. You got my vote. Let's fucking go. Um. Here's to eating healthier. Um, my necklace broke, so I had to put it on my person again. I'm like, I vibe with it. It's nice to be able to wear jewelry again and actually let my hair down. Oh, so nice. Wear makeup and that. Oh, look. It sucks. It's a very blessed curse situation, as I said in just my most recent Instagram post. There's something else. Oh, there's something on my phone I actually want to show you guys. But, oh well, not anymore, I guess. Um, why is this happening? Why did, why did this, why did the music stop? Um, anyway. Can't wait to watch Hannibal again. Can't wait to watch all the things on Netflix that I put on pause, or like, you know, that I only added to my list. Um, I can't wait to start painting again, even though I have none of my paints, because they're all put away, because I need to clean them all. Because they might, you know, they were touched by mice. And just poop everywhere. Oh yeah, I don't know if I mentioned that, but yeah, anytime I turn around, or like I leave and come back, I find a new little mouse poop somewhere on my bed, and I'm like, I already covered all the holes with masking tape. What the fuck, bro? You know? Did I already mention that? I might have. This is what happens when you don't record properly the first time, and you do it. Yeah. Mm. Okay, yeah, I think, I, I think, I think this is it. Okay. Um, thank you for joining me for dinner. I'm gonna play some video games. And or finish Perks and Rec. Oh my god, and the panic attacks? Holy shit, fam. The panic attacks and the breakdown? Oh my god, I cannot wait to tell you more about that. But not right now, but like, holy fucking shit. That's what I need to do tomorrow. I Tomorrow I'm going to call and I'm going to be like, hello, I would like to see a therapist because god fucking damn, I need to see a therapist. Holy shit! Is it going to be fun to talk to that therapist? They're going to have a grand old fucking time with me. I'm ready. Mm. Oh. Yeah, fuck my life. Anyway, okay, thanks for joining me. I'm back, bitches. Hopefully tomorrow with better lighting and I look better, but yeah. Anyway, okay. I love you guys. Goodbye. Yeah, I think that's it.